Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. All right, you guys, I've got a, another love reading for the Scorpios. And I am using the, what is this called? I guess it's the Halloween Tarot. How appropriate, right? So, if you are new here, welcome. If you are a returner, welcome back. I'm just taking my time because I have, I have looked at these, but I have not really had a chance to look at the gloriousness that these cards truly are. They're a lot of fun. So, this right here, the star card, is the overall card. This is you, this is them, this is the storyline. Flip them, how it resonates with yours, your story. So you've got the King of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. And I played with these. They're all shuffled. You just happen to get a bunch of cups, which is good. So your person has the Six of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. Or pumpkins as they call it here so with this king of cups what's coming out here the three of wands waiting for one's ships to come in you definitely are in love with this person for sure either you want to offer something solid or they have offered you something solid here but you're full of love and you've got passion for the future with the Two of Cups, here comes the Page of Cups. Yeah, there's just so much love. You have so much love that you want to give to this person. Yeah, and then here's the Two of Wands. You're definitely in love with this person deeply, and you're, you're making plans for the future and possibly offering your cup of love. With the Six of Wands here comes the Chariot card. Your person is, they're, they're not as ready as you are. They want to be, but they're not quite ready here with the Five of Cups. Kind of lamenting about love lost. But they want the victory. They want to move forward here. And with this Five of Cups comes the Six of Cups. So they're definitely trying to make a decision here. And they definitely want equal give and take. There's just some. Con there's definitely confusion with this person. They do want good things out of this. They want that good equal give and take with the sun card here. There's just a decision that they need to make to really move away from something that hurt them in the past. So they're, they're kind of half and half here where they, they're into it, but they're unsure. They want to move forward, but they have to make a choice about moving away from something that doesn't work or, you know, stopping the heartbreak that they've had. But they, if they give, they want to be able to give equally and freely. And then with the Son of Cups, um, the Sun card, that is good. So down here, they have the Temperance card, the Two of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. So your person might be moving much more slowly than you. I think your person definitely had something that they had to um, work through, some emotions here with the Ten of Swords and Temperance. So there's going to be a need for you to have patience here. You know, and of course, it depends on, because this is a public reading, right? You're always going to um, wait until you can't wait anymore. So it's always going to be up to your discretion because, you know, yours is all about love and movement forward. Theirs is still trying to get their bearings. Trying to make a choice in love. 
you know, wanting that equal give and take and wanting the happiest card in the deck. But I feel like they're they're definitely, you know, trying to get over something that's blocking them. You know, and here's the, the two of swords here. So this is kind of making them feel like uh, they're just not quite ready. They're unsure. They're stalemated. And with the eight of cups here, yeah, they're still they're still grieving from something. Maybe they just recently walked away from a relationship or something in their family situation has changed. Yeah, because your energy is light, bright, ready to go, full of love. And theirs is, you know, definitely gone through something. And then here is the knight, or the nine of wands here. And with the knight of pentacles, they're going to be feeling defensive. So this is something that you're just going to have to be patient with. You know, and comment down below what your situation is because I'm very nosy. And I like to know how this resonates with people. And make sure you give this a thumbs up. You know, if this has resonated with you and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you, by the way. So with the star card here, it's hope for the future, love. And then here comes the emperor. Yeah, see how the emperor in this, in this one, of course, it's Frankenstein. But he seems very contemplative. Thinking about one's options, you know, looking at the past. This person has a lot of stuff that they have to work through within their mind and their heart. So you might have caught this person at the, at the wrong time. Where you're, you're ready and raring to go and they're not. Because of this heartbreak that they're trying to get over to heal. What is oh, cards flying? Criticism. Now tell me more about this, guides. I feel like there might be some of your friends that are like, oh, just let it go. But then there's also you, this person here is they they went through something. You know, and like I said, this is a public reading, so I'm not going to go too in-depth here. But they, there might be a lot of negative self-talk that they have that they need to work through. And, you know, and all of this could, you know, depends on the person, but this could just be the classic case of really low self-esteem. And, you know, who would say that they would, someone who has low self-esteem doesn't think they're worthy of love. You know, it could be from a past event or it could just be, you know, their general state of being. You know, obviously something triggered it, but health. Now tell me more about that. Yeah, either they had health problems or someone in their family had health problems or has even possibly passed. You know, and that could be what they're trying to get over. You're trying to be flexible here, and I believe that you are. You are doing your very best, and you know, you're using your intuition here. This is something that is worth continuing to try to grow, but it's going to take time. And I hear that, you know, making sure that you don't try to um, move too quickly or... Uh, Kind of pressure them in any way. You deserve love and you are lovable. And that's probably what this person needs to hear. But this is for you as well. Now, for those of you who've been waiting a while on this. You know, and if this person is still trying to. If this has been something that's been going on for a while. And they're still trying to make a decision here. You know, maybe it would be better to move on down the road. And see if this person comes, comes knocking at your door. 
you know, but if this is something fairly new, it's definitely worth waiting for to make sure that you take care of you. So it says this could be the one. You're already you have already met the romantic partner you seek. And all your cards clearly state that. Now let's go into what is your person feeling here? Someone from your past is returning to your life. And for some of you, it could be they have someone who is knocking at their door from the past. And that's for a small amount of you, but they might be considering that and that's what the decision is about. And remember, if someone doesn't want to be with you, you know, there's plenty of other people who do. Now, what's this offer card about? Because I'm getting multiple information here. So if you offered something here with this King of Cups or the Knight of Cups, and they seem like they might be wanting to take it, um, just kind of give them the okay to slow down or that you realize you need to slow down because if you offered something, they're like, yeah, I'll take it. You want them to be absolutely sure that they want you, especially with the Seven of Cups here. And they do admire you. They do love you. What else is going on with this person? Yeah, a pause is necessary. Yeah, I definitely give this some time with this Temperance card. I'd say time is the situation that needs to be taken care of here. Give this person time. Give this person space. Can't really say too much more about that. So there's temperance and divine timing. Because they're saying you don't want to put all your time and effort into this. And they give you a premature, yes, I will take your offer. And then they have to be, you know, deceptive or deceitful because they weren't really ready. You know, so right now they want you to refocus your energies onto you what you want to do, how you want to move forward. The sun card has come out again. So they're saying this, this is a really good situation as far as outcome. You know, having two sun cards here is good. Yeah, it's like, keep up your jolly attitude, keep up your love, keep up you, take care of you, and kind of shine your own light. Because this person, they do want it. And I think giving them just a little bit of time is going to make a huge difference. You know, because the sun card has come out twice, and the Temperance and Divine Timing, those are the same cards have come out twice. So just know that time is needed for your person. And like I said, if you've been waiting for this person for a long time, then you might want to consider doing something else. Because remember, you deserve love. And you are a very lovable person. Lovable person. <laughs> I don't know why that was hard to say. Okay, guys, let's pull... Some Oracle. Spirit Fox, trust your talents in changing times. Yeah, trust that intuition. All right, you guys, that is what I have got. If you enjoyed that, please make sure to give it a thumbs up so it gets spread around to other people who need to hear this healing message. And I will see you guys next time on Medium of Light Tarot. Don't forget to subscribe.